Hello world, CC Madman here, here to talk about stuff. So, homework. The schoolwork that you bring home because your, your teachers are too tired from dealing with brat kids all day, so they push it off to someone else, your parents, who are too tired from adulting all day, so they push it off to your siblings who don't care, so you end up doing the work all on your own anyway. Okay, I get it. Homework's important. It helps you understand better, and it teaches you to work harder, and it teaches you to work on your own. But why? I didn't do nothing to nobody. And it's such a drag when you had your whole weekend planned out, or you just want to veg out and forget about school. That jerk that bullies you, the crush you can't talk to, the teacher who you swear just lives to take away your will to live. But guess what? Like a confused puppy that you give a little too much attention to, school follows you home. As you get to higher grades, homework changes, and one of its most terrible changes is the time it takes. So this applies more to maths than just how complicated it is. It's either the question is just wild, or it's easy but it takes the entire page just to get to the answer you're looking for. So the example that you got at school, it made sense. It made the exercise easy. So you go home, you open your homework book, things are going well, nice, nice, okay, everything's easy until you reach this one question where something's a little off, some, some, something doesn't add up, and it ain't you, it's the question. Maybe there's an extra number, letter, or symbol or lack thereof, all of the above mentioned, because you know, maths is just this subject with all the numbers and symbols, right? But guess what? Letters got a little left out, and they decided to join the party, and things got a little weird. It's like the numbers and symbols were bay, and after so many trials and tribulations to test their love, they're finally happy, and then an X shows up, like a literal X shows up and just ducks everything up. You have a Nollywood drama on your page and you have to fix everything and make sure they all have a happy ending. Yeah. You don't get this, do you? You wait three days, three days, three days, it'll come to you. Even explaining this is complex. Three days? Three days is the exact amount of time to take to answer one high school question with a calculator. So you go through your books, your examples, yes, go friend, you find the answer, okay, you got this, you can finish this. It's a little challenge, everyone loves a little challenge. Then you reach that question which is just, just loco. The question doesn't even look like the example. They're similar enough that you can tell that they're the same, but trust me, they are not the same. They don't look like... Dwayne Johnson, Vin Diesel, similar. No, they look like human being, ape, similar. You dig? This question's on drugs! You ask your college friend, he doesn't even want to look at it. You ask the internet, it's stumped. You know your teacher just gave you this to mess you up, cause you know, he can. Next thing you know, it's dinner time. Then, it's bedtime. Your back's against the corner. You have no choice but just to admit you know Jack, or, can make something up. It'll get you an answer, which right or wrong, by now, <laughs> you don't care, you just wanna go to sleep. You prepare for bed, you get ready to sleep, your head hits the pillow, then <coughs> the freaking alarm goes off. Time to go to school and listen to your teacher whine about how you don't work hard enough, or that you didn't even try, and he or she is tired like you're not. Like, what the duck, man? Story time. When I was in junior secondary, my awesome maths teacher knew the real hard stuff and gave us the option to either do the work or leave it alone. Me? I never did those. I ain't no child genius. I ain't no Jimmy Neutron. But you sure do have his head though. Uh, TV show reference, check. Better check that there is a brain in there and not just a tumor. So senior secondary, I had the devil as a teacher. Let me just say the devil may wear Prada, but he also wears a cheap brown suit and a tie. I'd come home, rest only for an hour, then start his work till dinner, then right after continue until 11pm. 
then wake up at 3 a.m continue his work till the time i had to prepare to go to school and still have to hand in incomplete work and so did the rest of the class and he explode right into our faces for it it was an evil evil man he was just an evil evil man sometimes math was easy it was just crazy long only math can turn a single sentence into an entire book don't nobody got time for that everyone just wants to live their own lives and we are also psyched for the weekend until we get that research assignment that seems easy. This was usually science. Me? I love science. Biology is my baby. That was what I thought until I saw the biology assignments from health. There are two types of these assignments. There are those that look hard and there are those that look easy. So the hard looking ones are Probably two pages long and filled with complex stuff. So you take it and you're like Order! Take it seriously and you go right to work. You ask your friends, you ask the internet and in just a few hours you are done. Easier than it looks, right? That's cause it was easy. The second one this assignment looks it looks so harmless you can keep it as a pet get on it looks so harmless you can let a baby play with it get on it looks so harmless you can follow it into a dark alley all alone with no one to help you if you scream get on it looks so harmless you can introduce it to your parents get on it looks so harmless you can get naked in front of it get on it looks so harmless you can sleep with it in your bed get on it looks so harmless, you can kick it. Get on! It looks so harmless, you're overbearing, ever suspicious, overprotective parents can leave you alone with it. Get on! It looks so harmless, you can trust it with your secrets. Get on! It looks so harmless, it probably can't even hurt a fly. <laughs> Why were you talking like that? I don't know, I guess it just felt right. You heard the Gadams too, right? Anyway, research homework. Really? You've already heard of most of it, if not all of it before. You'll probably be done in an hour. Have a lazy, fun, non-school related weekend. Play a few games, hang out with a few friends, sleep all day and just be a kid for the weekend because you deserve it. So the day before you have to hand in the assignment comes and you decide, hey, why don't I just get to it? So you read through the question and not just skim like you did before. But this time, it's the same question, but for some reason, it's different. It's a word or a group of them. Maybe they're there, maybe they're missing. Maybe you didn't see them before. Maybe it's the arrangement. But one thing's for sure. It does not look easy no more. One question needs an entire day of research to write a three-page answer and the dang thing has at least three questions. That work was meant to take a weekend. That's why they give it to you on a Thursday to hand it in on a Tuesday. You realize you've just murdered yourself big time. <laughs> and where I'm from, there is no such thing as detention. What's that? Around here, they give biblical grade discipline. And you cannot escape it. Imagine my hand was a bum bum. So you go to the internet and you see just for how smart the internet is, it can be real dumb sometimes. Textbooks will take too long, and no one will help you if they find out you're doing it in the last minute. No matter what you do, you're not going to finish in time. Little fact I'm trying to lay down here. Those long, hard looking assignments are actually the easy ones. And those short, easy looking ones are actually the hard ones. It's like a great and mighty great day. Easy to train, lovable, <laughs> just innocent in a big size. Versus the small, cute looking bulldog that will bite your nuts off the first chance it gets. So now what other option is there? You can't possibly lie. You can't possibly write down all that. You don't, you don't even know the first thing to put on. 
What other option is there? You copy from your friends. Yes, you try and do 72 hours worth of work in 72 seconds. The teachers won't notice. Psh, adults are dumb. Oh, but he did notice. And now he's going to crack you over the head with his desk. Oh, okay. That's a little extreme. I'm just kidding. He can't afford to have blood all over his cheap suit. Ooh. What? Too dark? You think? Oh, you could come to class having done nothing and come up with some excuse. My teacher would still turn your butt into a Picasso, but less work for you, right? Or maybe it works out for you. Maybe you like getting beat up. I won't judge. No discrimination here. Point is, just do your homework and assignments on time, kids. Don't want to do it at home? Just do what I did and do it at school. It'll buy you some time. I mean, it's not awesome, but it works. So like, share, and subscribe for more relatable videos. And please, comment below and tell me what sucked about homework for you. Check me out on Instagram for more fun, relatable content. And check out my previous video over there. Yours truly, CC Mad Mike. I mean, primary work was hard before, but bring it to me now and I would ace it. Comment below if you agree. Or if you disagree, comment below. Just end the freaking video already. Oh, voice in my head, I swear when I come up there.